Right, uh, good afternoon uh, everybody um, and thank you for being here for this community outcomes meeting. Um, the first uh, item on the agenda are the notes of the previous meeting. Um, can I move those? There's just on uh, next to my name, I think there's a D missing. I think it's Deputy Chief Constable. Okay, thanks for that uh, amendment. Uh, I don't have any matters arising from those minutes. No. Okay. In terms of um, actions, so all the the follow the follow ups from the the meeting have been um, completed. Yeah. There was um, just one for the PCC to receive regular updates on hate crime, which is happening. Okay. And are coming to an April COM meeting. Right. Thank you. Right, before we get into the uh, the main agenda item, um, or items I should say, uh, we'll just do some quick introductions. So, Jane. Yes, so I'm Jane Sykes, the Interim Chief Exec here at the OPCC. Thank you. And John Robbins, Deputy Chief Constable. Catherine Atkinson, ACC. Julia Sykes, Head of Professional Standards. And Tim Kingsman, Head of Operational Support. Thank you, and Mark Burns Williamson, Police and Crime Commissioner for <coughs> West Yorkshire. Um, okay, so we, I don't have any urgent items to uh, to raise today. That's item two. Item three, uh, just in terms of general announcements, there are uh, one or two I would like to make. So um, this week we actually had our, uh, or last week even, sorry, we had our um, commun sorry, Safer Communities Fund uh, round number 12 uh, where we awarded 33 projects uh, funding uh, this is the proceeds of, of crime funding um, totaling more than £152,000 um, which now means a milestone of £2 million has been reached that's been distributed since we set up the fund uh, which uh, involves 463 groups being uh, successful in receiving funding so it was a really good night over in Bradford and uh, the Chief Constable attended along with uh, colleagues from the Economic Crime Unit and it was a really good night uh, and we heard some from some fantastic projects in our community. So that's really good news and the next grant round will open on the 8th of January in the new year um, and I think we're currently just looking at what themes we may decide uh, on that grant round as well. Also, uh, further good news, you will be aware uh, that the HMIC recently uh, released their uh, latest inspection results around efficiency and legitimacy for 2017, which graded West Yorkshire as good in all areas. So. Um, Congratulations to the force for achieving those results uh, in, in what are still very challenging times. So, very, very good outcome. Is there anything you'd like to, to comment on that, John? No, it's just part of a sustained uh, piece of uh, ongoing work by performance improvement across all strands of the HMIC inspection, like efficiency, effectiveness, and legitimacy. So, it was pleasing on behalf of the staff and the public uh, to receive that endorsement from HMIC. Thank you. And um, the other thing I just wanted to mention that <coughs> last week actually we, we signed a memorandum of understanding, an MOU, with the West Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service um, around the uh, issue of attacks on firefighters, um, which, you know, is, is hard to understand, but sadly it does happen. Uh, but through our collaboration work, uh, we've, we've signed that agreement, and I know we are working on one with the ambulance service as well uh, around what um, they can expect in such circumstances. So uh, that's pleasing that we've uh, got that in place. 
I don't have anything further to announce. Uh, I don't know if there was anything that you wanted to. No, there's nothing to raise. Thank you, Commissioner. Okay.